So for me, I don't believe in forgiveness <gasps> if you don't want to forgive. Oh. That's my philosophy. I'm very happy with still hating people because <laughs> it makes me happy. I love that. Yeah. So wow. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are like, forgiveness is going to heal you. Yeah. You're going to be better. You know, I think if it's eating away at you where it's like um, affecting your life, then maybe you should try a different avenue. But I'm very comfortable with with hating people from my past. <laughs> You know, um, I saw this video in the wonderful world of TikTok. You know, that's where all the foolishness goes down, as we know. But what I thought was very interesting is that, you know, there was a lot of women who were in the comment sections who liked the video and who were saying, you know, I'm going to adopt this mentality. This is going to be my new way of thinking. You know, I never thought of it this way. And you know what? You're so right. They equate um, forgiveness to weakness. And, and there was just a lot going on. And I had to give my um, take on this conversation. The first thing that I want to say is that if you are a woman and you do not believe in forgiveness, I just want to let you know that you are not mature enough to be a wife or a mother or or even a girlfriend. OK, I, I just got to be honest with you. Because it takes um, not just maturity within yourself, but also emotional maturity to understand that people are not going to, um, you know, walk around like a dog and, and pet you all the time and say things that are going to appease you. There are times, especially within relationships, that you might get your feelings hurt. Simple as that. OK, and you might get your feelings hurt because maybe somebody said something out of bounds that they weren't supposed to say because they have their own work to do or they were angry or whatever the case is. Or sometimes you might get your feelings hurt because they were telling you the truth about yourself, but their delivery could have been a little bit better. But I can guarantee you that if forgiveness is something that is not your strong suit or not something that you want to do, you might as well just stay by yourself. Hands down. It's so crazy to me because, you know, one of the things that she said, she said a lot, she said a lot in this very short video, but one of the things that she said was, you know, if it's not eating away at you and if it's not something that's, you know, actually harming you, then you can do what I'm doing. But if it is something that's harmony, you might want to take a different avenue. And What's so interesting to me is that a lot of people do not understand the subconscious effects of you harboring unforgiveness for somebody else actually does to you. This is why it is a known thing that forgiveness is not for the other person. It is for you. Because what happens is, is that that unforgiveness also turns into biz, um, bitterness it turns into um, like this dark cloud that just hovers over you. It affects so many other different aspects of your life, your emotions, the way that you deal with other people, all because of this one person or this one situation that happened that you're still harboring on. It is of no benefit to you. You have to allow things to happen, reconcile it within your mind, and release it. You cannot release it if you have not forgiven the situation or the person. I understand that there's, there's levels, right? There's certain levels that, that um, people have to go through and grow through. But you see, when it comes to something as um, detrimental as something like unforgiveness, that bitterness, it's like, it's, like a, it's like a lump of coal within you. It can literally make you sick physically in your body because of the stress and, and, and the, um, the problems that it causes you, again, subconsciously that you do not understand. Let me tell you how, how deep this unforgiveness thing goes. You see, unforgiveness is a thing that until you get to the state that you're able to forgive um, whatever the situation is, it keeps you bound to a certain level. 
So let's just use this in a relationship aspect, right? If you are um, unforgiving of your ex person who you were with that, you know, you felt like they didn't treat you right or they did things that, that you didn't agree with or whatever the situation is. What happens is you start to date that same person over and over and over again. Because the unforgiveness that that's in you, it's actually attracting that same person or those same circumstances until you can figure out what the lesson is, learn from it and grow from it. That's real. It silently harms you. It silently hurts you. Again, these are the same women who will get into relationships with men and he will do one thing. And because you are so used to harboring unforgiveness and holding grudges, instead of him doing something and apologizing and you two move forward, you keep a logbook. You're like, oh, well, hold up now. He did this, tally. He did this, tally. You keeping a record of all the wrongdoings. What I think is funny too is that a lot of people who harbor unforgiveness and are so happy within their unforgiveness, they are the ones who are the most shook when the most shook when people don't forgive them. Well, what more does she want from me? I said I'm sorry. I already apologized. I don't know what else she want from me. I already said I'm sorry. I already did this. I already, you know, they, they just be doing too much. What else does she want? It's interesting. You know, it's so funny because a lot of people can say a lot of things. But you see, when women are blatantly just coming out and saying, calling themselves selfish, you know, this is the same person who was advocating, um, you know, for us to take shame away. Which shame needs to make the biggest, you know, U-turn and make a big, the biggest comeback. This was the same person who's advocating. These are the same people that said that they love women. Oh, I love women. I support women. Oh, I love this. But they are, are dragging you on a leash down a deeper and deeper and deeper hole of things that you're going to have to um, literally yank yourself out of to be able to elevate and also to be able to attract healthy relationships. That's the truth. You don't got no shame. You selfish. You out here in these streets. You trying to do everything that a man could do. You you know, you're doing all the above. You You're, you're unforgiving. We are in a space now that I have, you know, seen that women are so far away from their true feminine nature. They are the furthest away. In our natural nature, we are calm. We are comforting. We are nurturing. We are forgiving. We're understanding. We're compassionate. We're sympathetic, empathetic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unforgiveness is a part, it is not a part of our nature. Because of our empathy, our sympathy, and our understanding. You know what? I didn't like the way that that, that person treated me, or I didn't like the way that I had to go through those things, but I understand that they can only deal with me from their level of interpretation. And so based on that, I have to free myself from the feelings that I'm harboring against this person so that I can let them out of my mind and be free from the bondage that's holding me hostage within my heart and within my mind. I have to let it go and keep it pushing. This is not helping me. This is not assisting me to become the best version of myself if I'm unforgiving. Forgiveness can only elevate me. Forgiveness is the tool that I will need to have a long lasting relationship. 
It's forgiveness. I wish that a lot of women would understand what's actually going on. And wake up. Open your eyes. Get it together. Focus. All these little conversations that you that you comment on and you think that is not that big of a deal and stuff like that. You're putting your 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 efforts there. And, and what's going to happen is that you're downloading this into your brain. And when you get into the next argument with your man, you're going to say, oh, no, nah. you see, I'm not doing this. I'm not forgiving him again. And you won't even know where it came from. Our nature, again, as women, we are natural absorbers. We are sponges. You keep sitting down and, and filling your brain with all this negativity if you want to. Unforgiveness, you know, being out there. If you say you want the contrary, you should be listening to people who are speaking on the contrary. Watch their lifestyles, watch their relationships, and see if this is the kind of lifestyle you want to be leading um, when you, whatever you reach, whatever stage they are in their life. Let me know if all the information they're spewing is going to be conducive to the things that you want. I just want us to see, I, I just want to see us do better. Okay, I genuinely do. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.